just want to officially, on behalf of the board of directors of the collaborative and all of our volunteers who have been helping today, welcome you to today's event. Uh, thank you for taking time out of what I know are busy schedules to focus on, on this all important topic. Maybe the most important thing you could, I think you could focus on, we could focus on uh, at this time. Once again, thank you for being here. Thank you to our sponsors and I'll turn it back to Mark. I'm now delighted to introduce to you Dr. Max Holmes. And so for me, it's just incredibly exciting to have this group here today to think about what we can do at home, on the cave, in this remarkable place that we live, um, as a step towards these broader global goals. And, and the possibility of the cave actually being a shining example that others will follow uh, it is really energizing and exciting. So, thank you. We're presenting the success stories partly to give them recognition. Um, one of the things I've been struck by is, is how little press the good things that are happening on the Cape get. And so there is not enough volume to create uh, financial incentives for somebody to be making a replacement biofuel for our situation. So our way of getting past that is to retire the combustion engines as fast as we can. Her fully electric commuter aircraft, which is what we fly at the Paris Air Show. So girls, if you want to go to Paris, <laughs> sign up to go to the Paris Air Show because you'll see the future of aviation and Cape Air's, Cape Air's plans. When I think about keeping my kids safe or keeping the next generation safe, nothing scares me and no one scares me. And that's where we are right now. We need to put aside into being intimidated by people in power, etc., especially the people that you can have some influence on, and go get them to do things differently. We have a new plan to be fossil fuel uh, during uh, the next uh, 12 years, and uh, we are hard working on the, on the next step right now. Government's role is to build a connective tissue between the reality of today an agreement, a basic understanding of the facts and what exists today. So important when we look at some of the statistics up there as to where we are and where we're headed. So my goal in the next hour, is, now that I've burned up four minutes, is, <laughs> is to invite up, and since, okay, we have the energy sector here, I'm just gonna go from that side across. The person who was writing for that sector, come up. When you talk about built environment, you can say mitigation and all the marvel of saying, I'm a mass save contractor. There's a lot of money laying on the table out there for us to renovate our existing housing stock. HERS can come up with rating scores for energy efficient mortgages for going forward and incentivizing a market. Um, and, and then just to wrap up, to look at incentives to get people to want to do that, and not just make it a policy. It's been a day, a real workout but I think extremely productive. And of course, for the five C's board, the next question is, what do we do with all this fantastic data that you've generated? And so, the, so our first step will be to try to, try to synthesize, try to pull together um, all of the good work, the great work, that particularly that the sectors have been doing, but also to look at ways to further promote the success stories that we heard so much about this morning. Mm -hmm. And several of the sectors have talked about continuing. Um, we want to facilitate that work uh, to the extent that we can as volunteers. Um, and so we imagine very active sector activities between now and the next time we meet.